Good morning. That was lovely.
Good morning. Our entrance antiphon. Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather, we're going to take a moment to still ourselves from the busyness of this morning. Welcome the Lord into our hearts and ask the Spirit, His strength, to be our help for ourselves and for all who struggle throughout this day. That God's Spirit of peace and may His strength help all who are in need. Lord Jesus, you came, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision. We who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law a Pharisee, in seal I persecuted the church, in righteousness based on the law I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The Word of the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Sing to serve him 
constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his just judgments prevail. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we're so used to hearing this gospel that we don't, uh, we're not really shocked by it. But for the people of Jesus' time, when they heard this gospel, it was a surprise. Because what shepherd would leave 99 to go after one? No one. Why take the risk of losing 99 when you can just take the loss of just one? Or the woman who loses a coin and finds it. Who would throw a party to celebrate the recovery of a lost coin? No one. But God would. So Jesus is making the point of how valued we are. Like St. Paul in today's first reading, in a zeal for the Jewish faith, he mercilessly persecuted Christians and hauled them into court. But God in his mercy instead of striking him dead with thunder, led him to conversion. Today is a good day to ponder the depth of God's love for us and also the depth of his love for his enemies, like Paul, who persecuted him. May we learn also to show love and mercy to our enemies. Let us pray. 
Let us pray then for ourselves and all Christians that we may reflect the love that God has for us to one another and make our world a better place. We pray to the Lord. For the victims of war and violence, that where human efforts fail to achieve peace, God may guide and help us. We pray to the Lord. For our nation, for our newly elected candidates, that they may help us live in harmony, peace, and prosperity, we pray to the Lord. For all who carry heavy burdens, that they may find assistance from the community of faith and from our Lord, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and all whom we have promised our prayers, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Gabriel Ting, and in charity, remember Quinn White, who died last week. And we lift up all the souls entrusted to us in our novena of prayers. And all the loved ones, all our beloved deceased that we remember. And so for all our loved ones and their family members who mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. I invite you now to take a moment of silence to offer your own personal intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you who rejoice at the finding of a, of a lost child. Hear the prayers of your children, and in your goodness grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Jesus your Son. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Gabriel Ting and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion antiphon you will show me the path of life the fullness of joy in your presence O Lord let us pray may the working of your power O Lord increase in us we pray so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone. <laughs>